It's a bed and breakfast tucked way off the beaten path not far from Seattle. From two incredible comfort food recipes to a floated dessert that is going to bring you to your knees. All coming up next on My Family Recipe Rocks. Today, we're near the small town of North Bend, Washington, about 30 miles east of Seattle. It's an area made famous as the backdrop for the hit TV series Twin Peaks in the early 90s. And today, it is where you'll find the Old Hen, a cozy, cool B&B nestled in the deep woods just below Snoqualmie Pass. All right. Lovely kitchen, this you know. This is where the magic happens. Yeah, sweet. Well, all right. <laughs> but you know what's really cool about this? I did, when I walked in, I felt really at home. You know, hey, I really felt very So what are we going to be making today? <laughs> We're going to be making scalp potatoes. Okay. They've been the recipe's been in my family a long time, mm -hmm. and I just kind of revamped it to make it creamier and a little better. Awesome. And then we're making saucy balsamic burgers saucy. wrapped in. Say that one more time. <laughs> <laughs> saucy balsamic burgers. Thank you. Okay. And then what else? And then we're making a Northwest salad because we're in the Northwest today. There oh no! And didn't. and we are gonna make a mad mud pie. It's crazy good. Mad mud pie, like when yeah. you eat it, you go like, oh my god, it's so mad and good. Is that, <laughs> no, it's you like just that. fall in love because you want to come back to their house again and again. Sounds good. Yeah. I'm down for that. What's the first yeah. thing that we're gonna be making now? Um, we're gonna make scalp potatoes. Let's do that. Let's get it underway. Let's All right. It. To get things started, scrubs the potatoes clean and then uncork the bottle of wine to set the cooking mood. So potatoes are clean. <laughs> How was it? Was it good? <laughs> in a bath? Great. Now what do we do? So now we're going to cut them on the mandolin. Set it on, on there really well. I'm gonna try to do gonna it. Use this to push it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You gotta push this to once in a while to push the potatoes. Use it. What are we doing? You and use the way you want to use it. So how thin do we get these things? Very thin. It's so pretty darn thin. Almost like a potato chip. Yep. <laughs> so you ready to try? Pretty, yeah, sure. Like, so. Okay. It's so like that. Wait. Be careful, Joe. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Right. Yes, yes. We need to cut up eight potatoes into thin slices and then toss them into a bowl of salted water. I know how to do this thing now. I'm like, right, look. That. So you've been living here for how long? Uh, 2005. We turned it into a bed and breakfast in 2009. Nice. Yeah. What made you want to use it, do a bed and breakfast, though? Dreamed about it in like 20 some years ago. Like how cool it would be to have strangers in your house? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> man, that's what happened, man. Let's get some people out people that we have no idea who the hell they are. Just bring them in. We thought, oh, someday when we're old and gray, but thanks to nice and easy 118A, I am not that gray <laughs> and have the B&B already. It's amazing. We get to meet people from all over the world. Right. That's actually that's crazy pretty fun. cool. You know, this is the perfect place. This is the perfect location by Snoqualmie Falls. Amazing area. It's beautiful. There's lots of adventures to be had here, like hiking and all that. So we thought, you know, let's just do it. Let's try it. And um, our first guests have been back, I don't know how many times, just like countless times now because we're, we're just developing friendships as we go. And so, you, you make breakfast and stuff for them as well, or is it just like, yeah. seriously, for people that have never been to a bed, bed yeah. and breakfast? Have you not? Uh, I've been to one in, oh, okay. in, in the wine country. You put them in uh, water with salt, yes. so it didn't turn brown, but then you drained it out. What's the next step? Right, so the next step is yeah. we're gonna put gloves on. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Bend over. <laughs> so, what, what do we have the, the gloves things. for? Um, we are going to make a mess. It's yes. Be fun. Yeah. I love it. So first we put a cup of cream and a cup of milk in there. Okay. So. A cup of like heavy cream or just regular yeah, cream? Yeah, heavy cream. Heavy cream. Yeah, low fat. Give me some of that. And then we put a little flour in. Oh, a little bit of flour. <laughs> and those will thicken it up. Yep. And a little salt. salt well, salt, a lot salt. of salt. I'll let you do that and I'll do pepper. So and pepper here and we're in effect. Why don't you push it through? That's probably good. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Deanna then cuts up a whole onion to throw in with the potatoes. Throw that in there. And now we're going to do the cheese. We put in like three cups or so. Okay. Just kind of get, is that like three hey, cups, whatever right? works for me. That looks, Maybe yeah. that's more like eight, but you know. Okay. You can't say no cheese. And then you get to stir it with your hands. Okay. So I stir it with my hands. Oh, look at you, you little cheese. You little potatoes and cheese. Okay, next. Okay, next. Do I keep this on still? No. 
I can, can take them off. Okay, good. Thank yes. you. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> with the potato mix ready, Deanna coats her pan with butter and starts to layer in the potatoes and cheese. And now you put cheese in layers with cheese as you layered the potatoes. And now we're going to put more, more cheese. cheese. More cheese. More cheese. More cheese. That's unbelievable. <laughs> That's going to be like so good. Potato terrific. Yeah. Wait, you, you missed a okay. couple of spots. Yeah, you want to yeah, get that on there. So now we're going to build a tent over it. Just going to lift it a little above the cheese so it doesn't touch it. OK. And it so, can still bake, but we don't right. want it to brown too fast on the top. So. All right, so how long has this got to go in the oven? For about two hours. And what temperature? 350. Two hours? Yes, wow. about. Sometimes about. they might be done a little sooner, if you're lucky. Well, let's pop yeah. in the oven. Coming up next, we start on Deanna's balsamic burgers and the Northwest salad. Then. It's the mother of all mud pies. You won't believe what this handmade slice of frozen heaven is made with. Next on My Family Recipe Rocks. Now opening up a B&B &B was a big step for Deanna, who hasn't always been a great cook. And Deanna has been going at it ever since, creating or improving recipes for her family and friends to enjoy. So now, with the scalloped potatoes baking in the oven, it's time to start on the next dish the saucy balsamic burgers. And turkey or chicken, either one. So any kind of country sausage. It, the balsamic burgers, I went to a restaurant and it's closed now, so I'm really glad that I had this, I don't know, nudge inside me that said, you gotta remake these. And so I remade them and I think they've been reworked, I don't know, several times now. But I finally came up with this idea of wrapping puff pastry about them. And they're so awesome because you can make them into like appetizer size or small burger size or like an actual meal. So we're mixing that up, mixing the, the, the pork and the, right? Yes. What is that? Mixing it together really well, ground chicken. Ground, ground chicken. And now we're going to toss in the onions. Onions, which are chopped really quite fine so that they. I was trying to make it kind you of cool did that and fun. so well. It's almost like ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, yeah, the clothes and everything. Now that the onion and the meats are mixed out with a little bit of salt and pepper, then it's time to ball up the saucy burgers. She is shooting for a total of 36 balls. Deanna gets some help from her mom to whip up the chopped herbs and cream cheese with a mixer. Then it's time to wrap them nice and snug with a puff pastry. Balls of brown, we also put uh, some herbs in the cream cheese, right? Yes. What's yes. the next step? So uh, we need to roll out our puff pastry, Okay. which you defrost by taking out of the freezer 40 minutes before you use it, or you can put it in the fridge overnight, and that works too. Gotcha. Don't want to do more than that, it'll all stick together and it won't right. be usable. So we're going to put a little flour on. A little flour on right hole. And then you just roll it just a little bit. Just a little bit. Both this way ways. doesn't matter. Both ways. Both ways. How much, like that? Yeah, that's great. Uh, a little bit. Perfect. And then we're going to cut it into nine pieces. You so do that. <laughs> I don't want to mess this up, because I don't, I don't even know what it's supposed Pretend to look like. Pretend like you're playing tic-tac-toe. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Tic -tac -tac. Uh, and then we're going to put the uh, cream cheese on there. Ooh, cream right. cheesage. So you take the back of the spoon. This is like a little technique <laughs> that you just kind of do. Hit the back of the spoon with it and do it. Yeah. And then OK. So then, OK, you ready? You fold up each corner. Each corner? <laughs> yeah. One. Two? Yeah. Three? It's like a baby diaper. Gotcha. Yeah. Then you just put up the other little. These are appetizer size. You can do these in all sizes. Deanna drops 18 balls to a sheet. She hits them up with a quick egg wash before placing them in the oven. Coming up next, it's back to the kitchen to plate up this amazing meal and dig in. When My Family Recipe Rocks returns. Up next. The sauce that makes her balls oh so saucy. The sauce, it's just an easy, quick version. I take uh, cornstarch and brown sugar, mix them together, whisk them together so that the cornstarch doesn't clump. Then I put the cooled chicken broth and the balsamic in there, and then we whisk it some more and heat it up, and then it will uh, start to bubble a little bit, and you kind of can tell when it shifts and it thickens just, just enough that it's easier to dip them. It's so yummy. With a few minutes left on the oven, Deanna quickly whips up her Northwest salad, combining red onion, spring mixed lettuce, three kinds of berries, and sugared pecans, all layered with her lemon oil dressing. Now that everything is ready and looking oh so pretty on the plate, it's time for the taste test. So the food is plated up. First of all, it smells divine. Thank you. 
these little puppies, for some reason, I think this is gonna be like the most amazing thing I've ever had. <laughs> All right, you ready? So what They're do we do? Sinful. What's the last finishing step, though? We gotta put the... The sauce. The sauce. Yeah, All for right. the balls. Oh. Your life is never gonna be the same. I'm, you know that, don't you? I'm ex Oh. Oh. Let's go. Let's start with the salad first. Start. You do a little <laughs> bit of the salad with the dressing. You did a little sugar with the lemon, yes. the oil. <laughs> I don't like a lot of fruit in my salad. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest. Yep. This is really good. <laughs> because it's light. It's it's not like this heavy kind of dousing or something. And literally, the, mm -hmm. the dressing was sugar, oil. Yep. Well, you know what? Sugar, lemon, olive oil, oil, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. It, that's that's it. it. And you know what? I'm the same way. I don't really like a lot of fruit in my salad, but when I started trying new things, seriously, this is good. I'm right there with you. What am I hitting up next? I forget. I'm going to dig it in. I don't care. I've been waiting for it. I've been looking at it. It's been eyeing me. I think that's a good sign. <laughs> that right there is a good oh. sign. <laughs> the potatoes have been just been hitting in there for two hours. Mm. Long, chilling, cheese, the cheese, and the cheese, and the more cheese. Look at the steam. Yeah. I know you're hungry. I know yeah. you are. Look. That's like better than some restaurants that try to make those kind of potato, cheesy old gratin kind of things. Seriously, it's way better than anything. I love you, mm. Joey. Thanks for saying that. Oh, no, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest. I'm just gonna keep eating, but I know we have one more special thing coming up. What, what are we, we're making a dessert. You have something you're gonna be making. What is that now? Dude, it is a mud pie. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever created besides my children. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it. So when we come back, we're gonna be making some madness mud pie. What is it called, though? Uh, yeah. Mad, mud pie. Mad mud pie. Mad mud pie. <laughs> don't go away. You, you don't want to miss it. Obviously, this food's been completely ridiculous. Stay tuned. More stuff on My Family Recipe Rocks. Don't go away. The better dinners we've ever had on this show. But now, it's the moment we've all been waiting for to begin construction of Deanna's Mad Mud Pie. Okay, so we're making this... All right, so what do we got here? We got crushed Oreos. So in our food processor, we have ground up some Oreos and some butter. Yeah, it's a shame, like a stick but of butter, you know. Is it? Uh, yes, one stick of butter, one package of Oreos. Pack it down? Is that yes, right? yes. Pack it down. Down! So Oreo crunch mixed in, everything's with butter, and now we melted down the peanut butter. And you're gonna pour the whole thing, or are you doing like layers? Um, the whole thing this time. The whole thing this time. And that, wow. it's serious, yeah. Look at that. Oh. So you spread that evenly, that lovely yes. peanut buttery goodness. Yes. So now, using your glove, you put some chocolate ice cream in here. So take a scoop of this. Yeah. Take little chunks of it, and then put it in, and smear it a little bit. Around. Push like, it down. Yeah. Like, push it down. Yeah. And what you want to do is try to cover the whole thing. The whole thing. Yeah. Okay. The but you gotta do little thing. pieces though, right? Yeah. It's kinda cold. <laughs> Since you've got the messy work done, I'm gonna take my gloves off. Oh, okay. I'll do the sauces. <laughs> Deanna then tops the chocolate ice cream off with butterscotch and chocolate syrup. So now we're gonna put the vanilla in, same okay. way. Same way? Yes. Damn. <laughs> she then repeats the process with vanilla ice cream, more syrup, and more butterscotch. And then one last layer of coffee ice cream to seal the deal. The man mud pie freezes overnight, but luckily for me, Deanna had one ready for us to dig into. So as you're cutting this up and serving, who, who you have some friends that are over here, these lovely people. These are my dear friends, Amelda. Hi, Amelda. Hi, Amelda. And Mark, both from the Seattle area. Awesome. Mark. Yes. Deanna then topped it off with homemade whipped cream, slivered almonds, more chocolate syrup, and of course, a cherry on top. I could eat the whole thing, Do probably. It. Grab it Shogun style, bro. Oh. <laughs> What's great about it is when you told me the process and what's going in it, the minute you take a bite, you taste everything. 
Yeah. Meaning you taste the, the coffee ice cream, you taste the vanilla, you taste the chocolate, and all of a sudden the peanut butter hits you. And then I needed more whipped cream because it was awesome. <laughs> and then you got the, the, the slivers. <laughs> <laughs> the food was off the hook and the recipes were easy to make. Go to livewellnetwork.com to try them for yourself.